Hey you guys, it's me Jess and I'm back again with another video. Thank you guys so much for stopping by. Um, if you are a returning subscriber, thank you so much. If this is your first time seeing the video, please consider subscribing, it's totally free. Um, and please, if you enjoy the content, please make sure you give it a like, share, and all that good stuff. Okay, so guys, I know I say this all the time, but I do want to make this video brief. Why? Because I just got home, I'm tired, I'm hungry, I just stopped at Firehouse Suds and got a sandwich, small one. I just want to relax and chill and watch YouTube and you know all that but I did get a package today now I did tell you on my last video that I was done ordering purses which I am but this is a purse that I had actually ordered already um about uh I think I ordered it back in November I believe like actually let me see I think no I think I ordered the like really early early December if I'm not mistaken and today is what like January of or what the hell I don't know what day it is um Today is what? 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. I think today is the 16th. That's so sad. Yeah, but today today is um, January 16th, and I am just now getting the package, okay? Now, let me just say this. I was very reluctant to do this video because um, I know that in the luxury bag community, it is very frowned upon to have a bag that was not originally created by the designer house okay so or is made to was created to look like a certain type of bag but it might not have been created by that designer so that's why I was really reluctant to um, do the video and um, I have seen channels I've seen people who have said that because they did those type of videos um, from DHgate and stuff like that that people were um, flagging their videos reporting some people lost their channels and i have had my channel for a long time i do not want to lose my channel even though oh yeah i might not have the biggest channel but at the same time my channel is important to me my channel has a lot of memories for me i have videos going way back with my kids in there when i was younger that's not really saved anywhere else so i really don't want my channel to be flagged with old foolishness so i'm going to be very careful with the words i say but um i did receive this bag from um DHgate um, and DHgate sells a whole bunch of stuff not just purses but they sell jewelry they sell clothes shoes all that like my boyfriend literally just bought like sneakers from them so but anyway this is a bag that I ordered from them um, back in early December I am not going to say who what the bag who the bag is inspired by if you know about bags you should be able to figure it out okay so but this is not my first time ordering from this seller this is my second time ordering for this particular seller and i think that they do really great quality bags so and i'm going to show you how it's packaged and everything um and when i looked at the uh what it was inspired by originally it was pretty spot on okay so guys um like I said, if you know, you know. Uh, I'm being very careful with what I say. Okay? So anyway, the box is all smashed up. That's to be expected. So of course they give you all of this. Um, this is, what is this? Um, it's in Mandarin. I really don't know what it's saying. Mm -hmm. Alright, so this is the box. I think we know what this is. I'm going to take this okay we know what it is all right we know what it is um so this is a luxury bag inspired by this designer okay it's a luxury bag that is inspired by this designer the box is inspired by the designer as you can see it's not even the same color it's all crushed and stuff but at the same time we're not worried about the box we're worried about what's inside the box okay now this is once again this is my second time order from this particular seller um i'm gonna tell y'all right now this is something good to look for if you order from a seller and they're even giving you a box that's normally a good sign that you're gonna get something pretty good okay that's like the first clue all right so but i'm excited about it because i have the other one in the just original brown color so i decided to get the one that had um had another color so all right here so here is the authentication papers 
Okay. So this is what they give you. They actually give you like some kind of receipt that has zero on it. This is everything I got the last time. I'm gonna con the only thing I'm a I was a little annoyed about was the first time I ordered from this seller. Um the first time I ordered from the seller, they were very quick. Like I literally got my purse within two weeks. But then this time around, it took them like well over a month. But just based off of what I saw last time, it is well worth it, okay? So this is a box that comes in. It comes all wrapped up in this nice paper, okay? So um, a lot of people tell you, you do get that like strong leathery smell, okay? So here is the duster. The duster actually feels really good. I ain't gonna lie to you. It's a really nice duster. I have seen other bags where the dusters are kind of like whatever. The duster is pretty decent, okay? Oh, here we go. Here we go, y'all. So here is the luxury inspired purse, okay? Guys, this looks so good. Now, I am very familiar with what the in what the original inspiration looks like and as far as i'm concerned it is spot on okay so if you already have one of these the ones that it is inspired by you might be able to attest to that but i love this color i have the regular one that's just this uh monogram the whole dark but when i saw this one that had this kind of khaki color i'm like oh i really want this i think it's called the reverse monogram so I knew that I really wanted, but guys, the quality feels so amazing. Like I want to continue to buy from the seller because every time I buy from the seller, I'm like never disappointed. Okay. So, um, so let's start taking some of this stuff apart. Now this bag comes with the, uh, with the strap, which is what I love. So, and just so y'all know, this bag only cost me $62 and 88 cents. Um, on the site, it's originally like a hundred and something, but they've been having it on sale. And just for the record, when you, when you order from that site, that is one of the clues to look for. Try to stay away from purses that they're 30 bucks and they were always 30 bucks. Try to look for the bags that were originally 200 and something, 100 and something, 200 and something, 300 and something dollars originally. And then they reduce the price because those are normally better quality okay so you have the nice leather handle like i said this is genuine leather you can see uh the print okay um like i said this is exactly how it's supposed to be what i would suggest to you if you really do want to get one of these i would definitely get the reverse monogram because since the leather is black and this, it's a lot easier for it to pass for what you want it to pass for, basically. Because sometimes people can, you know, that the color of the other handle, the lighter one, sometimes it can be a throw off. But the only thing with that is that the original always is light. I heard that the more you hold it, it'll darken after a while. But I feel like with the black one, you really just can't go wrong, okay? So to open this bag, you just do that. Squeeze it. Okay, so... I have watched videos for the inspiration of this bag, and I'm telling you right now, it is spot on. Like, even the way it looks inside here, um, so you have, like, the label in here. Okay, let's take this out. Okay, the quality feels really, really good, you guys. And I know that the inspiration is like $2,500, about around there. And I really don't think, I love this bag, but do I want to spend that kind of money on it? Absolutely not. I'm just being honest with you. Okay, so here's the belt, the, I mean, the strap, you guys. So I'm about to um, attach the strap. I'm going to model it for you guys. If you are interested in this bag in this particular seller, I'm going to go ahead and leave my Instagram information in the description and then you can send me a message on instagram and i will give you the seller's information but i will not be posting any links or giving you any like further information on here just to protect my channel okay y'all know how that goes so i've seen people do it and they get in trouble for it 
Okay, so here you go. Y'all, I love this bag. Like I said, the original was really nice, but when I saw the reverse monogram, I'm like, I have to have it. And both of them cost me the same price. They were both like $62. So here we go. And I definitely will be rocking this in the spring. So let me go ahead and show y'all how I will wear this. Um, I'm really, I gotta, I really have some things to do. So I really don't feel like doing a what's in my, uh, maybe I'll do it in another video. Like what, you know, to all can fit, but I don't pretty much if let's put it this way, whatever you saw, I, I, I will do. It. I have no problem doing that for y'all, but whatever literally fit in my, uh, in my coach tabby, or my or my pillow Madison, whatever fit in the car liger bag. I just said video one, trust me, it's gonna fit in here. Okay. So there you have it. This is really beautiful. I love this bag. This looks really cute with what I have on right now. Okay. Um, I'm going to do it as a crossbody. Which this is nice too. Y'all, I cannot wait to rock this bag. This is really the bomb. Okay. So this is it, you guys. This is the purse. I absolutely love it. I adore it. Um, like I said, any information, I will put more. I, I really just want to kind of get through it. But yeah, this is it. Um, let me see. I'm trying to get all of the little. There's a piece of foam. Let me get this tweezer. Okay, here we go. All right, and I got this right here. I need to get a scissors to cut this off. Let me see. I think I had, oh God, I'm supposed to have like, okay, I gotta try to find that. I was supposed to have the scissors, but anyway, y'all, this is a bag. But yeah, everything that you're looking for, like here is the engraving of the name on both sides. And uh, something else to look for is the engraving here on the um, on the zipper. So you guys see, you know, the stitching. To me, I think the stitching looks pretty neat. I'm not seeing any loose threads. And guess what? Even if you do see a, lo a loose thread, it's not really that hard to cut it. So, but yeah, this, trust me, you, if you're trying to rock this bag and, you know, just feel good about it, <laughs> have people think whatever they want to think, you're good to go. Like, y'all need to use a seller. Please contact me on Instagram, and I will give you all the information you need to contact the seller. But yeah, from what I've seen on YouTube, this is pretty spot on to its inspiration, okay? But like I said, if you know, you know, all right? So, um, that is it, you guys. I'm gonna show you all once more. So, yeah, guys, I love this bag. I cannot wait to wear this. This is so cute. I love it. And it looks good what I have on. Just this solid black I have. I have my little high heel boots today. So, yeah, this is it. All right, guys, so this is it. I'm not going any further with the video. I'm sorry it's not as detailed as my other videos go with all the dimensions and all that old type of stuff. Um, but, yeah, this is it. I will come back and do another review on, like, what's if it's in my bag. Because I do, like, I do enjoy doing those. So I will do one that, you know, what all can fit. But I think, as a matter of fact, I'm not going to lie to you. I could tell, because this is a really nice size bag. I could tell that um i can get a lot of stuff in here like everything that's in the tabby plus i think i can definitely get in here i can get my books in here my wallet my phone i can definitely see i can definitely i can know i can definitely get a lot and i love the fact they have this back here so i could tell that my phone is definitely going to fit in here really nicely and one of the things i love about the bag is the security of the bag i love that a person can just open it if they don't want to if they wanted to you see this that you if you're not going to take the time to squeeze this you're not getting in okay and i like the way it has the two different compartments and now this doesn't have any slip pockets at all okay but that's okay you know you have your other two you know but guys i'm saying if y'all feel this bag like the quality is top notch trust me so yeah you y'all definitely want to use this uh, this seller but like i said this is one of those bags that was i think in the 200s or whatever and they reduced it to 60 something dollars definitely worth it i mean i spend more money on my coach bags like my coach pillow tabby that was 550 dollars so to get this for 62 dollars and know what it's what it really could be 
and you're getting the same exact quality is just it's just amazing okay but anyway guys that is it for this video i'm sorry it's not as detailed but i just wanted to show y'all i was very reluctant to even do this video i don't even know if i'm gonna keep this video up for long to be quite honest with you but anyway so this is it if you guys want i can do a review on the other one i have with just the all dark monogram but this is the reverse monogram okay and please don't come in my comments tell me oh i know it's not this it's not that i know obviously i know but hey i would rather keep the extra two thousand something dollars in my pocket in my bank account than giving it to a purse okay because i have so many purses and i switch my purses out all the time so like i said i have my limits to what i'm willing to pay a, a bunch of money for like honestly the most i've ever paid for a bag with it, the two mcms i have that were 700 dollars a piece and i still went and found me a coupon to at least knock off like 10 or 15 percent so the louis the the mcms is originally what 700 dollars. i ended up paying like 582 dollars because i had a 15 percent coupon because my first time that i got from bloomingdale's and neiman marcus okay so even though i still pay a lot of money but i'm still going to try to find a way but that's about my limit i don't even think and the mcm i just really really want that purse but i don't think i would ever go over that again okay now i'm not gonna hold you like if i find an lv that was really like really like okay like the gucci bag the gucci bag is three thousand gucci marmont i love that bag if i was able to get that bag for like a thousand or a little bit less i would do it even if you know pre-love and i probably still will go start going in the pre-love direction you know but anyway this is it got it from dhg like i say, you know the designer it's inspired by i love this bag um, and trust me, it is, the quality is amazing. Like, you can feel it. It's, it, it's no bullshit. All right? So, anyway, um, if you have any questions, leave me in the comments, and I'll talk to you later. Bye.